So yesterday's video I had reacted to Nikki MGTV talking about exposing me, right? So today I'm gonna be doing a reaction of why does every military branch hate the Air Force? If you guys have any videos that you wanna see me do a reaction to, be sure to comment down below, let me know. Actually, Onision's videos, I think I've watched partially a little bit of his first one about why he got out, and then his second one, I don't believe I've seen at all, because I was waiting specifically until I got out of the Air Force to even watch them so I could do a real reaction to his videos. So besides Onision's videos, what videos would you guys want to see me do a reaction to? Or if anybody ever makes videos about me or any, like if anything just ever shows up, if anybody posts a video and you're like, yo, I want to see Kyle got do a reaction to this. Just let me know, comment down below. Appreciate it. Parting off, this video was posted in December. So it's about a five month old video. We're looking at 200,000 views or just short of that, 188,000. It's got 3,000 thumbs up, so that's pretty good. I'm gonna give it a little like right here. And then it's got 297 dislikes. I'm assuming probably 297 airmen watch this video. Uh, but I already gave the video a thumbs up because you know I don't really care. You know, it's all good and fun. So I don't think Nikki would have said anything too bad about the Air Force. Honestly, I was in the Air Force for six years. Most of the stuff he probably says, I'll probably be able to agree with, honestly. I hope most of uh, the problems that people have with the Air Force is being in another branch is that they're butthurt, that we have everything that's way nicer, but we'll see what he says. I wanna be clear, we're gonna save Kyle Gott and Bully Juice. The rest of them we don't Ooh. care about. All right, okay. So right away, he's just like, nah, Kyle Gott, Bully Juice, they're good, they're good peoples. But everyone else in the Air Force sucks, and I'm like, all right, I can, I can understand that. But something that's really funny with doing these reaction videos is I usually watch YouTube videos at one and a half to two times speed. I don't know if you guys know this, but down here in the little gear icon area, you can hit that and do playback speed and do one and a half or two, 1.75, 1.25. You can even make it slower if somebody talks too. So it's funny doing a reaction video because I watch it in real time and I'm almost like, oh, this is so slow. Nothing to hate on Nikki because my videos are the same way. I watch my video, my own videos at two times speed, but it's hard to do when you're doing a reaction. If you guys didn't know that little trick though, you can save yourself a ton of time. You guys watch a lot of YouTube videos. You can watch two times the amount of content now in one day that you used to previously if you watch it at two times speed. YouTube hack right there. I love it. As always, let's go right to the topic, and that is why every other branch hates the U.S. Air Force. Because you guys are bought her, because you got all the nice things, video, man. Some of you guys took a lot of nice stuff. You can watch up there why Marines hate the Navy. You guys took some of that way too seriously. This is the hey. rivalry between the branches. I'm Everybody's using feelings are getting hurt on the internet, Do you want me to say man. dislike? Do you want me to use some other synonym to make you more happy and comfortable in your little fragile hands? No, I'm not. I'm gonna say hate and I mean it. They hate each other. That's something that's crazy is with YouTube videos. If you title like one word out of like, people like will freak out. You should have done this and this instead. It was like the whole Nava the Beast thing, like who will win? And it's like, if you said who will win and then it was scripted. Obviously it was scripted. It wasn't a real challenge. Relax. Watch the entire video as well before you make a comment. Thank you, let's move on. Yes, I was triggered. All right, so we all know this. We know the big deal. Air Force has it best, right? Air Force is the best branch out there. They care about their people. You always hear about that. Yep. Air Force cares about their people. You're thinking in the Army and the Marine Corps, no one cares about their people? No, it all comes down to one thing, and that is money and how it's spent and who gets the most of it. So obviously, that's going to change how people are treated. Do you think that if the Marines could give everybody their own one bedroom apartment and have that money, they probably would want to do it? I'm telling you, this whole video is going to be about how all the other branches are butthurt. That we get all the nicest, newest things, the best money, we get, we get all the good stuff. So, the butthurt is, is starting strong in this one. Some people are going to disagree with that and say that they want the morale really low and whatever else. But no, I really do think that they would want to give more to their people. Mind you, this is not a factual video really by much. There are some facts that are kind of facts, but more opinion. rule of thumbs and my own personal experience. So don't take it as gospel, please. So yes, Air Force does have it better. That's why everyone hates them. Because they've got everything yes. better. It's I told you. the best. 
supposedly, and I can agree <laughs> that from my personal experience. I told you, I knew, I knew that was gonna be like the biggest gripe. It's just, we get all the nicest stuff. But let's get to the root of this. Literally every other branch, including me, I'm in the Navy, dislikes the Air Force because literally they are gonna have it better off than us and they will still complain about it. Darn right. Cause they ain't. First off nope. is the fact that they've got this whole thing where you can have a dorm, a dorm. Mind you, you call them barracks on the other side of the military. Oh, did we talk about the deep <laughs> back or you mean the galley? Oh yeah, did I forget to mention that they get to move out of the dorms or the barracks before most of their branches? Trust me, I'm not trying to recruit here. I'm just letting you guys know it's the truth. You wanna join the Air Force, I'm telling you, the living situation is way better than all the other branches. Single airmen, you get your own room. Single in other branches, you might be bunking with people. Like, you don't have privacy at all. Because a lot of the Navy and Army require to be E5 in order to leave, whereas a lot of the E4s, the Navy, I can tell you, it really depends on the command, the manning of the barracks, how long you've been in. Bro, you can get out at E3 Sometimes E4 can Air move Force. out. Sometimes even an E3 can move out. It's just, it's so obscure, whereas the Air Force, it feels like it's a little more defined for them. Everything around this makes it sound like it's college. It's gotta be good. Next is the ranking up system. People are like, Air Force is slower to rank up. That's all we know. But they actually have some good opportunities for the junior enlisted making up to E4 uh, that I think are better because they have some guaranteed promotions and things like that. So I will comment on that promotion thing is in the Marines and the Navy that I know of. I don't know about the Army so much, but the Marines and Navy, when you hit E4, you're an NCO. In the Air Force, however, E4, you're still an airman. E5 is when you become an NCO. So a supervisor starts at E5 in the Air Force. A supervisor in the Marines and Navy starts at E4. So they kind of give you that responsibility sooner in the other branches. Yeah, the, the promotion system is guaranteed up to E4, but you don't really get any of that responsibility or leadership at E4. So it's just kind of a different rank structure is all. Next thing I wanna mention is their quality of life on the base. So we just talked we about the good. housing. They stay in these things called dorms, but I wanna say their exchanges on base are incredibly nice. <laughs> Especially the ones I've been to. I've been to a couple, I'll name them for you. But the Kadena in Okinawa. Oh. I went to Pope Air Force Base. Kadena's BX is like one of the largest in the Air Force. I think it's in the top five. It's huge. Everybody that gets stationed in Okinawa is like, I gotta go to the BX on, on Kadena. The Air Force tends to have like the bigger, nicer, cleaner ones. So, Kadena's was nice. I went to Andrews Air Force Base. I've been to the one in Guam, Anderson. I've been to a lot of bases, but I'm gonna let you know the truth. Okay, for the most part, traveled way more than I was at Air Force consistently has the best yep. exchanges. Most people think this isn't a big deal. It's a department store, which is very true. But when you're stationed overseas, when you have the best stuff, that can be a big life-changing experience of shoe selection, clothes, yep. electronics, things like that. When you're overseas, that's like your only American store. Off base, there's not American stores because you're not in America. So it is a big deal for the exchanges on base to be nice. So Air Force definitely has it has it good. But what, what did I tell you guys? This whole video was going to be Nikki being all sorts of butt hurt about how the Air Force has it so good. We got all the nice stuff. We got all the nice things. Also to include food options, if any of you guys have ever been to Anderson Air Force Base, they have a really nice huge exchange. The one in Kadena, they have a ton of food options compared oh, yeah. to most of the other bases on Okinawa, Japan. So the comforts of home are a little bit better. Next, if you want chicks and you want to be in the military, where better place to go than the Air Force? 25% <laughs> of the entire force is chicks. Compare that to the Marine Corps where there's only 10%. So I mean, Ooh. your chances are more than double. You might as well join the Air Force, right? Yeah. And for you guys that are in the Marine Corps, you guys already understand that if the girl arrives at base, by the next day she's got a boyfriend, she's got two other boyfriends on Tinder that she's already dated for two months prior before she got there because <laughs> somebody saw that she was arriving, found her on Facebook, and then DM'd her on Instagram. Yeah, I will say that the Air Force tends to have more women that are served. But I think that also goes into the quality of life, everything like that is, it's, it's more easy for both sides, both genders to live in that environment versus like the Marines lifestyle isn't really fitting for most women. So 
Uh, I can understand why the Air Force pulls a lot more women than the other branches. This is not from any accredited source other than the Air Force website where they say 44% of the people that join this service want to re-enlist or do re-enlist, which I find insane. It's saying almost half the people that join want to stay in, whereas I've heard figures around 20, 25% or whatever so, from the Navy. Um, this varies, obviously, as time goes on, it's constantly changing. So I think the Air Force's numbers with that are 40 some percent of the people re-enlist after their first enlistment. But the amount of people that get out after their first enlistment is still a lot. So that means after your first enlistment, 50% of the people are gonna be gone. And about 90% of the people that go to basic training say they're gonna do 20 years. And after four to six years, 50%, actually 50 some, 57% of those people are actually gonna get out. And then it just continues to kind of be that way. Like the, the amount of people that re-enlist a second time, probably around 50% and so on. So like he was saying, the number is like 20% for people that actually do 20 years, which is accurate. I think in the Air Force, it's around 18%. And then the Army and Marines is like 13 or 12% of the people that join actually do 20 years. So the Air Force still does have more people that stay in on percentages wise uh, compared to the other branches, but it's not much when you think of a 20 year commitment. But I would also probably agree that there's more people that re-enlist in the Air Force after their first term than any of the other branches. Also, let's say you get automatic E3 if you decide to save for six years. So the chances are good. If you said 44% of the people are gonna re-enlist and if you do six years, you're probably gonna end up wanting to re-enlist anyway. It's gotta be a pretty good deal. Hey, I did six years, because I thought I was gonna wanna stay in. Look at me now. Look at me now, okay? Does it look like I wanna be in anymore just because I signed six years? No, I didn't. Six years made me not wanna be in anymore. Too many rules. I was trapped. They owned me. I was like, bro, I can't give up six more years of my life. Either or not, no matter how good you sweeten the pot and how good the Air Force has it, there is going to be somebody that doesn't like it because people are just prone to complain. And there are people that are upset that join the Air Force where they should have joined that's something me. more of a brotherhood type because that's more of their appeal. So be self-aware at what branch you want to join and just understand that <laughs> you're joining the Air Force and you're going to lose all ability to brag about anything what? besides how good you have it oh and yeah, you've yeah, yeah. lost all sense. right to complain about how you have it and i will say my experience with the air force they've had it really good every time i've been with the air force as far as living conditions even when i was living out in a tent they were given like some air conditioned can that they lived in but i'm not gonna be too mad because i was staying in a tent with air conditioning but they lived in like a more solid structured can i'm gonna wrap up this video with one last idea of understanding you don't have to join the marines or the army or navy or whatever i'm not promoting that or the air force um realize no matter what you serve you serve your country and whether it's the hardest branch hardest Amen. branch of the marines or it's the easiest branch of the air force what? you're still going to get the same benefits in regards to your gi bill and all the va benefits and things like that you're getting the same we're all on the same team we get the same va benefits when you get out it's, it's like what he was saying he's like i'm not promoting you know you got to join the air force you got to join the marines or whatever and i think that's a good thing like that's why like me and nikki we kind of see eye to eye on this is we're just trying to help people we're not being like you need to join this branch because I started in this branch and I'm saying so. It's just more like, hey, I'm just throwing my stuff out there, but take it with a grain of salt and you can do what you want with your life. I like it. Nikki's a good guy. So it's really what you're looking for experience wise. There's obviously specific jobs within those branches which can offer different accreditations and uh, schooling and training, but overall you're going to end up with a lot of the same stuff when you leave. So I say this as a person that went to a college class with a corporal that said to me that she said, why did I join the Marine Corps when I realized I would have probably stayed in if I joined the Air Force, I would have gotten the same benefits and I would have probably liked to re-enlist anyway. So that's why I'm not saying don't go Marines or do go Air Force or don't go Air Force, but I'm saying be self-aware of what you're expecting out of your service and your experience in the military. I like it. I like it, Nikki. That was, that was a good video. A lot of good points there. Uh, basically, to sum up the whole video, the Air Force, we got it pretty good. We got it way better than the other branches. But just because we have it better than the other branches doesn't mean that it's going to be the best thing for you. Like, for instance, my little brother, he is in the Marines. He re-enlisted. I joined the Air Force. I got out. 
Me and my little brother are way different people. The Marines really, really fits my little brother. And the Air Force fit me probably better than any of the other branches. But me as a whole, I am not somebody that could be a lifer. Just my, my work ethic and the way I think about things and do things and, and want things done doesn't really match the way that the Air Force is or the military in general. So it was one of those things where I'd always wanted to serve, right? But I didn't know until I joined that, oh, the military in general really isn't something for me. Now, I am a advocate for people joining the military. I think it's a great thing for people. I think a lot more people should join, even if they only join four years or six years and that's it. Because the amount of life experience that you get, the opportunity to be cultured and visit different countries or states and, and just get out of your comfort zone. I think it would be good for Americans to just branch out a little more and, and start to realize there's more out there than just like where you went to high school and the house that you grew up in 10 feet from your high school and just live in that city your whole life. There's so much more out there. And, so th that's one of the reasons why I still make videos about the military stuff is, yeah, I mean, the military wasn't for me. The Air Force wasn't for me. But I think the military is a crucial thing for the United States. And I'm not saying I don't want people to join. I'm just simply sharing my experience, my personality, the way I am, and how that worked out for me. And I'm just giving you guys the information so you can choose what to do with your life. So, uh, yeah. Shout out to Nikki for the video. I think it was really good. Would you guys want to see me do maybe a series like this? Why all the branches dislike the other branch? Like, you know, it's like, oh, stealing his idea. But I mean, though, dude, his videos already got 200,000 views. If anything, I'll shout his video out in it and it'll help both of us. So yeah, let me know if you think I should make a videos like that in the future uh, once I get all my other stuff done. But yeah, good video overall. Shout out to Nikki. If you guys haven't subscribed to him, go ahead and do that. And I'll see you guys in my next video.